Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make this cool tutorial, um, which is made by using displacement maps. So I'll teach you all about that and uh, let's jump right into it. So first off, we need to create an interesting background for our displacement map to work. Um, it's basically a PSD file of a texture or also of an image uh, that then will distort your text uh, or image. So um, what we could do is grab our brush tool. In our brush settings, we're going to go to a, like a special effects brush. So something like this could work. Um, we're going to go with black and I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm just going to add these splatters, like paint splatters all around. I'll add more in the center. When I'm kind of happy with it, um, I'm going to go to File, Save As, and we're going to save this as Displacement. Save this as a Photoshop file and press OK. We can now move on to the next part. So I'm going to just add a solid color. I'm going to write my text. Let's go with a simple Nike, which always looks cool. I'm going to go with Helvetica Bold Oblique to make it right big and bold here in the center. Now all you have to do is actually go to Filter, Distort, Displace, Convert to Smart Object. What this basically is, is the amount it's going to displace it. So you start off with a 10 by 10. Um, and then you can always go back and tweak it. If you see it's too weird, too distorted, you can lower the number. If you see it's not enough as distorted as you want, you can just um, try out different numbers. So press OK. Now you're going to just select the PSD file you just made, click open, and there you have it. Now look at how cool this looks. What I usually like to do is also add to this a tiny bit of blur. Tiny bit, I mean like one pixel. Um, then I also like to add a little ripple effect. Maybe 40% could work. Um, and then in the end, I usually just add some of my textures. So I'm going to add uh, some plastic textures and probably some grainy textures as well. Lastly, what I like to do to make the text interact more with my background is just double click on my layer. Hold down the Alt or Option key on this little arrow here, and as you will see, just click on it once and it will divide this arrow into two. And you just want to try out and slide a little bit on this side and this side to have the background showing a little bit. Press OK when you're happy with it, and that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to like, subscribe, um, and comment. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.